have here from the top of the roof while we're preparing to build the roof because you know we haven't done much in a little while corrosion isn't that bad the anti-corrosive paint is working pretty good we have to clean up some areas but the roof will protect against all this and all the problems later on so yeah this is the backyard view Samuel is welding up. We put some I beams up to give us the lower end before we build the high part of the cable a little bit distance in from there. And then we're doing a great big slope over to this side with again some low end I beams over here to build the angle of the slopes up to three foot. All roof supports are being tacked on to the top of the containers thus allowing us to start building the height of the gable to protect the top of the roof so water won't settle on the top and see right now nothing is going on setting up the two slants before we do the height in the side of the hair because we're going to raise about the hair to be the highest point for the shed well, shed roof as I say and yeah, that's boss man welder right there doing his thing We're just working on the framing for the roof. This is the eastern side. It's gonna have a long pitch heading out, creating the shed. That's gonna be the height of the gable or shed there, the highest point. And over there is the shortest lean for the lowest pitch part, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, this is roof frame 101. Just a different angle of the roof framing we're doing. As you can see, that's the height. And yeah, I think that should be protected hopefully within the next few weeks. And we're doing some more roof framing because that's the plan, that's the goal. And this is what it looks like. day of work on the roof so far working on the framing that is and yeah this is what we've got up to we've got a decent angle this is just going to be the short side of the roof and then of course we've got the other side well well tacked on for now we just have to get everything else up on top Weld it together when we get a chance. I say the weather's not going to be good tomorrow or pretty much for the next few days, so we're going to have to hold off on work. So, this is what the roof frame looks like now at the end of our first day of work on it. So, we've been working on the angle, making sure we have a good pitch. This is for the shorter side, of course. The other side is going to be roughly. Create a long shed. Some backyard and our roofing work.
So just up on the roof here doing our second day of fabricating the frame. Um, Samuel is extending the I-beams together. So we have a longer pitch for the other side for the highway. That's how our roof frame looks like today. So back at the roof framing, so far we've got all the lower frame, subframe, whatever you want to call it, down and tacked in. So next is the space out for the Z prelims and put in the brackets, once the brackets are in, we can bring up the Z prelims and install, like this one over here. So this is what the roof is looking like this afternoon after we welded up some brackets and welded up the heavy slant and most of the framing. And here's the roof, day two of work from a different angle. Tomorrow we're gonna put the Z purlins and strengthen up the I beams to the top. Once that's done, we have to get the rest of the material and look to bring out some more workers to help us get the material on top of the roof. And that's a roof. This is what this is what the roof is looking like now the frame is mostly up we still have some more work to do but unfortunately for the next two days it's forecast as rain plus I need a little bit more material to finish it off but we are basically done with the frame we just need to put in the last bits and measure up for the roof material and once we get the roof material well We'll put on our roof. So on the third day, we did not exactly complete, but we made all of our welds extra solid, secured everything as best as we could for the I-beams, tacked in the majority of the Z-prillins before we have to bolt them in. This is just so we could size up for the material we need to do the actual roofing. Um, right, that's Z pillins. We still have to cut and install 11 more to fill this section. Um, we have to install some C channeling to basically finish off the frame. And then we measure out and wait for the delivery of material from 
the company and once that's done we install it and we'll have a roof hopefully and on the fourth day the roof frame is 100% complete and secure we've painted all the welds we've bolted in all the zeppelins and C purlins um, so yeah this is what the roof frame looks like at this point after four days of work with Samuel and myself So finally we get a chance to put up the roof. We actually got a day that we could all get together with extra labour and the roof is going up to protect us from water finally. No more water damage on top or right on the sides of the building. Yep, that is the first sheet of aloe zinc, new way of galvanized going up. The second one's gonna go overlap it now. And yeah, this is how the roof goes up piece by piece. And slowly the roof becomes a roof. That is seven out of the nine short pieces. We have eight pieces of long to go up because we already put up one prior. Yeah, I'll get back to you when we have more of the roof up. It's looking good. So we're doing the long sheeting now and we're a little bit more than halfway on the long sheeting. Completed the short sheeting. Everything's installed and the roof is going to protect us. So this is a view from the driveway garage area where we have the overhang over the windows on the southern side and yeah this is what the short side looks like and the long side of the roof the long sheeting versus short sheeting that is and we have some decent height there so the cooling should be good I'll put insulation after by myself that's not a problem to do later on Yep, so this is from the top of our driveway, roadway, looking down onto the house. That's the shorter end of the sheeting. Uh, that's all completed. Of course, we have to put on guttering and whatnot, but that'll be another day. And yeah, I think we're looking really good now. A little panoramic from a different angle, but that's the roof. The last sheet of new wave or aloe zinc, whatever you want to call the roofing material has just gone up it's going to be fastened and then we just have to finish up by the center ridging and a few other things and that'll be it for the roof today view from the underneath of the roof as we're working on a little bit of the flashing.
So this is some flashing going on. So this is what the flashing looks like as of today. We we're just trying to see what best we could do with the parts that we got delivered. Rather than buying more and more material, we're just using out what we have. So this is some flat sheeting that they delivered four rolls of. That's just one roll that we had to cut to size. Um, that's either some drip ends or some kind of flashing at the bottom there that we just cut to the groove. And of course the drip end on top to make sure everything's sealed off so no birds can get into the rafters, uh, Z Berlins, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, quite an effort. And it's a thin material so it needs to stabilize in the center as well as top and bottom. That's the only way that it'll not flex under heavy wind. <laughs> 